Hi guys, um, in today's video I'm going to be covering how to bind a 2-up saddle stitch booklet. Um, I'll be using the same prints uh, that I've been working on in the last couple videos and I'll go over what you need to bind the booklet. So obviously we need a ruler. Um, this is a magazine stapler or a booklet stapler. I'll show you how, to, how it works in a bit. And we need a bone score and a blade. And I always like to have a stack of paper. This is just to give myself a little bit of a pad when I'm scoring the sheets. And I'll get right into it. So first I'm going to score the cover sheet and always make sure you're scoring the inside of the fold. So I'll take the pad of paper and I am going to score it along the score marks. That looks pretty good. And you can see um, the printer printed pretty nicely the, the score marks or the, the marks on each side aligned really well. So once you've done that, I take the bone score and give it a final fold. And we do the same. with the second sheet and always make sure you're folding in the correct direction. So it's gonna be folding this way. So I wanna square it right here. And you can see um, on this print, the uh, score marks are a little off, but because these are, these are mostly um, floating images with some white border around it, it doesn't matter too much. Actually, this doesn't look too bad. So now that we have our sheets scored and ready, We can take a final look before we bind the book. And as you can see, everything's in proper order. And now that we have that done, this is a booklet stapler. And what you do is you set it to the length that you want to staple. So because this is a letter size sheet, um, it's 11 inches long. So I'm going to be stapling at the halfway point. So I have it already set up at five and a half inches. So you bring the sheets, you adjust the position of where you want to staple. I'm going to give it about an inch on the top and you Staple. That looks pretty good. And you do the same with the bottom staple. I'm going to give it an inch off the bottom. And you staple. And that looks really good. So it's stapled pretty accurately. And now we have the bind complete. All we need to do from here is trim the book. And because this is a thin book, um, what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to trim along the crop marks. So first I'm going to take my ruler and trim the end of the book. And notice I'm not cutting the page all throughout. And this is because I still want to keep the crop marks to cut the top and the bottom. So I'm actually eyeballing this, the thickness here. But if you want to be really precise, you can measure it and mark it. But in this case, I can just get away with eyeballing it. And I'm doing, I'm actually leaving um, this edge intact because I want to see the crop marks. And I can get away with it because this is a thinner book. Um, for a stack that's thicker, um, I would just remark it and completely chop this off. And that's because um, the thicker the, the pages or the more, you, more pages you have, they have a tendency to kind of move around. So that's just from experience. And we have the top edge finished. I'm going to do the same with the bottom edge. Now we have our booklet complete. That looks pretty good. And the reason I picked a laser printer for this is because obviously um, it's an automatic duplex print, but also because I have these really thin lines. It's part of my design and these tend to print out much better on laser than inkjet because the inkjet will kind of bleed. And another thing is uh, because these were black and white images, I thought, you know, it wouldn't really matter if I printed on laser. So there you have it. That's how you bind a book. And that's the end for my book binding series for this project. Um, I might do one more um, application for this illustration, but I'll have to think about it and I decide what I want to do with it. I uh, hope that helped and um, I'll see you guys in the next video.